you do have an online presence, you want your information to be protected. So things like your social media accounts, your Mining City account, your crypto accounts, even your Gmail account, you want to have as much security as you can. So let's see how to use Google Authenticator to secure your account because you want to get some sort of confirmation before anyone logs in into your account because they might get your email address, they might get your cell phone number, but then if they need to go to another level of getting your phone, then they will have to hack your phone also. And, and things like that do happen. We do have scams like where they do your swim swap and then they have access to your phone. So you really need to be careful with how you share your information online. So let's look at Google Authenticator and how I'm using it. So let's go to my Mining City account so that you can see how I'm using it. So when you go to my Mining City account, I usually click sign in and then my username and my password will be there. But then I do have to go an extra mile where I get my Google Authenticator to get the password to log in. So I will go to the Google Authenticator, which I installed on my phone and then which I already set up and I'll show you how to set up so I can log in. So it will never allow anyone to log in to my Mining City account before getting this six digit number. So which changes every 20 seconds. So even if you do get the number now, it will change after um, 20 seconds. So now that it allows me, so I provided a wrong code. So when I sign in again, it will ask again and the number will change again. So I will enter the number for three, five, so even if you memorize this number, the number is already changing in my phone as we speak. So now I can access my account. But then if you don't have this Google Authenticator, then it is a problem. So there's different ways to set it up. You first have to download Google Authenticator. So you go into your app store and then you will download Google Authenticator. I'm now going to share my phone so I can show you how to get it from Google, um, from app store. So now when you go to my phone, you will see there's this authenticator which I've downloaded. So there's different um, there's different uh, emails, there's different um, apps which I'm using this Google Authenticator. As you can see Coinbase, Liquid Exchange, uh, my Gmail, my uh, Coinbase, and also my Binance account. So this is my app store. And then you will search for authenticator authenticator app so remember there's a lot of authenticator out there there's microsoft authenticator there's google authenticator this is the one that i am recommending that you install so you will download this app and after downloading it when you open it it will open something like this so how do you use this google authenticator let's go to my facebook account because i know that my facebook account doesn't have um uh, google authentic two-factor authentication so when you go to your account, you click accounts and then you click settings and privacy. And then you would click, um, let's go to settings. Yeah, and then you would click security and login. And then you will check, you will slog, go down and see which one to use. So can you see that I uh, use two-factor authentication and then I can click edit. And then there's three ways you can use uh, authenticating air, authentication app, you can use a text message. So I would say let's use a authentication app. And now this is the pin that you can just copy and go and tie it in your in your authenticator or you can just go and check your authenticator and scan this so let's go and and let me show you from there let me do a new share and then when i click scan i will go and click and scan facebook so it already added facebook on my list and then i will click continue So now it asks for the code that I am seeing in my authenticator. So I'll enter that code. Let me see if I can share it. Five, six, seven, four, two, five. So that's the code to continue. So now whenever I will log into my um, Facebook account, it will ask me for 
that authenticates. So securing your data is, is important because cybersecurity is becoming more. There's people who are doing this full time who are actually sitting and watching how your activities mm-hmm. online. When you log in into your Facebook, when you log in into your uh, bank, when you log in into, so you do want to set up your Google Authenticator as another level of securing your account. And this is not the main, main one. You need to keep adding different levels. So Google Authenticator is the best way to protect your data because you always have your phone with you and make sure that you add as much security as you can and make sure that you do not share your passwords. And if you do set up your password, make sure that it's not a password like your, maybe something like Lindy one, two, three, make sure that your password must be something that's difficult to be hacked, something that a person cannot easily hack, something that they cannot guess. So stop using your date of birth to as a password you need to use something that's complicated and cannot be hacked so guys do make sure that you have your google authenticator set up in every app in every login that you do login and and you where your assets are kept make sure that you have that thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so that more people can see this video